Welcome to The Perfect Trip. And in today's episode, we hit Del Mar for opening day of their summer meet. Off the shores of the Pacific Ocean, about a half an hour north of San Diego, Del Mar is a beach town. It's got the energy and glow that's synonymous with Southern California. It's really the only place in America where you can surf in the morning and hit the trifecta in the afternoon. In this episode, we're going to give you a dish, a drink, and a destination for your upcoming journey to Del Mar. Let's get started. This place, to be honest, is magical. Every spot is more majestic than the last. So it's easy to get stuck on the first beach you go to or at the first bar you stop at. But where's the fun in that? So to get this trip started, what we did is we connected with an expert. So we hopped on the train up the 101 to Carlsbad to get a beer with a familiar face and even a more famous fedora. Here's PTF on the importance of handicapping Del Mar before you get there. Mission critical. A place like Del Mar, especially around opening day or Pacific Classic, there's just so much going on. You want to know where you're going. You want to have your reservation sorted out. It's not a real play it by ear place, if you know what I mean. I mean, you could, mm -hmm. but if you really want to get into some of the top places and make sure you catch all the coolest breweries, you've got to plan ahead. You know what? Good news for you. You're already ahead of the game by watching this video. The bottom line is Del Mar is spending. Sure, if you can afford it, do $200 meals a night, but not all of us can swing that. Unless you hit that pick five, then you know what? Disregard what I'm saying, spend away. The trick really when you go to Del Mar is to mix in some meals and activities that won't break the bank. We start by giving you a morning chock full of activities and you leave with an even fuller belly for less than $15. We call it the Michelle U Double. When we were putting this together, the best and most common piece of advice we got from anyone we talked to was, if you go to Del Mar, connect with Michelle U. She knows everything about anything to do with racing at Del Mar, and she's not afraid to share that with you either. To be honest, she's the best. Every Saturday and Sunday, Michelle hosts a thing called Daybreak at Del Mar. It goes from 7.30 to 9.30, and you can watch morning workouts with her. I cannot recommend this one enough. Her insight into training is a must-do for any level of horse racing fan. Plus, you can't beat the price. It's free. After a morning with Michelle, you're only a few furlongs away from the second leg of the Michelle you double. Here's the California burrito from Rudy's Taco Shop. Like if you're just looking for simple does it and you want a round filling meal, for me it's the California burrito. It's the carne asada burrito, which everyone likes a good piece of carne asada. They just happen to do it really well at Rudy's Taco Shop. It's slathered in sour cream, it's got cheese, and the key thing is it's got french fries in it, right? So it's not like you have to have like this on the side and drive and dip. Everything's right here in my burrito while I'm walking the track or handicapping on my form or cheering on a horse. It's all right here. Uh -huh. okay. uh. Rudy's is great. It's stumbling, no, 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 I mean walking distance away from the track. The California burrito was such a pleasant surprise. Maybe it's just my lazy Midwestern assumption, but when I think of California style, I think it's going to be healthy, not this burrito. It's a great blend of perfectly seasoned and tender carne asada. The creaminess of the cheese and sour cream balances perfectly. The hero low of this burrito however, are the crispy golden fries nestled inside of that beautiful tortilla, and it gives you that unexpected crunch. Who knew? For less than 15 bucks, it can't be beat. I'll admit it, unfortunately, Michelle was right, but please don't tell her that. After the burrito and maybe a quick hike to burn off all that extra guac you ordered at Rudy's, it'll be time for first post. Let's go to the track. From the moment you walk in, it's overwhelming. You know, without a doubt, you're at the coolest place for racing. Just look at this. The drinks are flowing. The crews are laughing. It's a party. There's no shortage of drink spots to hang out at the track. But we had to pick one, and we found a doozy. On the second floor overlooking the paddock, there are two bars, the Veranda and Corona Beach House. Both are great. After getting a tip from Christina Blacker, yeah, that Christina Blacker, we went to the beach house for a Del Margarita. This beautiful concoction starts with two shots of Patron, super secret margarita mix, and it's topped off with another shot of Patron Citron. For 22 bucks, it's totally worth it. After just a few sips, you're ready to throw those shades on, kick back, and take in the whole vibe 
of Southern California. After a full day of racing and hopefully winning, you need to close out the day properly. And there's no better place to do that than the Pacific Coast Grill, just up the 101 in Cardiff. It is a place that is right out of the movies. You can't get any closer to the Pacific. This view right here, undefeated. Waiting for us there is a man named Frank Scatone. Frank is not only a world-class handicapper, he's a world-class foodie. We order a margarita, get the best seat in the house, and get into what we should order. After some thorough handicapping, he finally landed on his lone air. Well, first of all, when I go through the menu, it's like, you know, when I do my analysis, I letter grade A, B, C, X. Everything on that menu for me is an A. The only X's are the shellfish because I'm allergic to <laughs> shellfish, so I can't have any of it, even though it looks absolutely amazing. But yeah, it is very tough to decide what you want here. I chose the Hot Rocks because I'm a terrible cook and I feel like I can actually do something. And it's fun. Food should be fun. And it's communal. We can all put our a uh, piece of ahi. They also do a, um, a filet, a, a cut of beef that you could also do. But I like going all fish because we're in Southern California on the ocean. You get the most fresh, fresh fish possible. 25 bucks for the tuna in this view is an absolute steal. The sound and smell of the tuna sizzling on that hot rock is doing California in the beach just right. The sweet miso sauce that comes with the tuna pear is great and it complements the savoriness of each skewer better than anything I could have imagined. So earlier in the ticket you were pretty skinny. We got you through the morning and afternoon for just 15 bucks with that Michelle you doubled. So when you get to the PCG, we need you to get as much coverage as you can. Start with some marks, order a few apps, do dinner. I promise you, you won't regret it. I mean, how could you? with this view. That's our official best route for the perfect trip at Del Mar. If you want to hear more from Frank, Michelle, or PTF about Del Mar, please listen to our companion podcast. It's got the same name and we go for about 45 minutes with a deeper dive into each of our picks. Plus, we talk about the craft brew scene, which is robust in that area. Very cool stuff. I want to thank you for listening and supporting the project. Do us a favor, though. Rate, review, and subscribe. If we miss something to eat or do in Del Mar, I need you to go into the comments and add it there. Also, we're looking for other places to go. Where should we go? If you got a suggestion, throw that in the comments, too. Until next time, I'm Josh Wen. Thanks for watching.